Welcome to the regular meeting of the Half Moon Bay City Council, the last one of 2017, on December 19th, 2017. Uh, could I have a roll call, please? Councilmember Eisen? Here. Councilmember Rarbeck? Here. Vice Mayor Penrose? Here. Mayor Reddick? Here. Please join me in uh, making the Pledge of Allegiance. Welcome and thank you. Um, we have uh, no proclamations and presentations this evening. Um, under mayor's announcements, I'd like to report some wonderful news that two of City Hall employees have recently become US citizens, and that's Benjamin Corrales and um, Carolina Passos. So I don't know if they're here this evening, but uh, congratulations to them and us. That's very special. And uh, while it's not required, um, I thought I would report out on the settlement on the Siobhan Smith case, which has a lot of community interest because Siobhan was our former city clerk, has lived here many years and most of us know her. So uh, the city council voted to approve a settlement of the Smith versus City of Half Moon Bay lawsuit brought by a former city employee. That suit stemmed from her assertion related to allegations of unwelcome contact from a member of the public. Under the terms of the settlement, the city will pay $50,000 in exchange for a dismissal of the lawsuit and a general release of claims. While we are confident that we would have prevailed in court, we determined that the best use of the city's taxpayer dollars was to settle the case. All parties are in agreement that this settlement is not an admission of any fault by the city. I want to add that the city of Half Moon Bay is committed to maintaining a positive, encouraging, respectful workplace environment. So. All right, so uh, city manager, do you have updates for the council? None. So we're going to begin the, um, our special night here, which is the city council reorganization. And uh, the first item is a presentation to the outgoing mayor. Before I present this, I would like to say how much your leadership has meant to me during this past year. I, I have never known a mayor who did a better job of informing and listening to council and helping us to reach consensus on items that were difficult to reach consensus on and to informing the public about the business of council and what we do here. It's a very, very hard job. I don't know how you did it. I'm retired. <laughs> you are not retired and have a very, very heavy duty job. And in addition to that, you do all of the work you do as mayor. And I'm going to miss you terribly. I cannot ever imagine another mayor as good as you. In recognition, we offer you this plaque, these flowers, and then a little gift from your council members. Oh, well, thank you. Mayor 2017 and sincere appreciation of dedicated service. Thank you. Thank you. And I just want to second uh, the vice mayor's comments. It, You've been a wonderful mayor, and we're really glad that you've been our mayor. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Please. Yeah, um, it's been a great year. It's my first year on council, and uh, having Debbie uh, as, uh, as our mayor has just been such a gift, really. Um, we all bring our own uh, energy and experience to council, but Debbie in particular, for all of us, has so much more experience. She's, she's been doing this for, uh, what, 20 years? Something like that. And, uh, and, and then she also works at a governmental agency. So her perspective that she brings to council is something that 
none of the rest of us have. And it's, uh, it's so important because what we do as a council, as a body, is when we discuss things, we are teaching each other what's going on and giving different perspectives. Um, and her voice has been such a, such a valued and important uh, piece of what we've become, really. And um, I've been really appreciative to have you here. And I think you've done a great job. So the other, the other piece that's, that's for, kind of forgotten is, you know, everybody that's up here is doing this because they love Half Moon Bay. Uh, and Debbie Ruddick absolutely loves Half Moon Bay. And, and her, her, her love for this town is something that is, uh, is deep. And we should all be very grateful to have someone like this serving um, up here with us. So I, I'm very appreciative for the, for the time we had uh, with you as mayor. And I'm excited to have you sitting closer to me. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I'm going to make a few remarks, but first I wanted to call out uh, Senator Jerry Hill, who's in the audience. Hello, Jerry. Welcome. We'll be seeing you shortly. And I want to um, introduce Ellen Kamei from uh, Assemblymember Mark Berman's office. Thank you for coming out this evening. Appreciate it. Um, so I want to make a few remarks. I don't want to take away from our, our next mayor. I'll be very wordy about that as well. But um, I wanted to use my little bully pulpit here and say uh, thank you to my fellow council members and citizens for the opportunity to serve as your mayor this past year. Make no bones about it, being mayor is a tough job. But it has its pleasures, meeting new people, collaborating together to develop and achieve common goals, uh, the chance to learn many new exciting things. Uh, we as a council working closely with our talented staff have accomplished many good things in the past year and for more information on that you can link to our State of the City report that's on the city's website. We've also begun community conversations on several difficult but critical issues including affordable housing, our homeless citizens, and cannabis. The new mayor, vice mayor, and council, I trust, will continue exploring solutions to these issues, as well as further advance our work on open and inclusive governance, professional city management, and responsive customer service. I ask that you all welcome our new mayor and vice mayor. They come with unique styles and personal priorities, but they will work smart and they will work hard on your behalf. I'm confident about that. Please place your trust in them and the entire council and city staff and know that while we're your public servants, we're also your partners. We're eager and committed to work with you in a space and in a manner characterized by mutual respect, civility, friendship, and cooperation. Thank you, my fellow council members, for your trust, teamwork, and good cheer. Thank you, staff, for your diligence your guidance and your professionalism, as well as your patience and your good humor in advancing our city's mission. To one and all, I wish you a happy, healthy, productive, and satisfying 2018. I know for some of us, maybe for a lot of us, it can be really hard right now as we see all the, the hatred and viciousness coming from Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. But I think because of that, we have to double down on kindness. And you know, when you see your neighbor, say hello. Pick up your dog poop when you're out on the coastal trail. You know, don't cut off somebody at the New Leaf parking lot. Just, just be more attentive. It's those small things that make for a quality of life when everything else is hard. So onward and upward. And uh, I'm still your council member. And you can still call me or email me anytime. Thank you. election of our new mayor. And uh, I would like to nominate our vice mayor, Deborah Penrose, to be our next mayor. Deborah uh, was our top vote getter uh, almost four years ago to become city council member. We, we ran together and had a great time. And 
I've had just a wonderful time working with Deborah on the city council. Uh, Deborah is forthright. She brings compassion, intelligence, and enthusiasm for the job, and I think we're going to be really, really well served. So I'm, I'm very happy to nominate you, Deborah, and I hope you'll accept. So do, do we have to have a vote on this, uh, an aye or a roll call, or how does this work exactly? Entertain other nominations? or Second. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank I'd like you, to Mayor give Deborah Rebecca. a chance to make some remarks. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say, except I am very excited about this year. I have lots of thoughts about things that I'd like to do that we haven't had a chance to do yet. I certainly want to continue Debbie's work um, that she's done all this past year and continue to use her guidance and her help in trying to figure out how to attack different problems that we've got. Um, but mostly I look forward to trying to engage the community in a way that we haven't been able to do so far. Um, I have some ideas about that and I'll be talking about those things at the next meeting. I'm not going to go into my ideas right now because it's, it's a, I have a lot of them. Um, <laughs> But thank you. I would also like at this time to nominate uh, Council Member Harvey Rarbach to be Vice Mayor. He has been exemplary. He has gone to every committee meeting that he could possibly attend, in state, out of state. He's amazing. Um, you call Harvey at the last minute and you say, Harvey, something's come up. I can't get to the sewer meeting. God forbid nobody wants to go to the sewer meeting, but Harvey shows up. So God bless you, Harvey. Thanks. We have a second on that. Yeah, I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. And at this point, we're going to administer the oath of office to our new mayor. Debbie, please. Thank you. So, Mayor, would you like to proceed to the, the front and have your oath of office? Reddick, I just wanted to say what a delight and how honored I am to be here today. And, and I really want to recognize you and the work you did over the past year as mayor and the council. Uh, it, uh, it really has been an extraordinary year with many accomplishments. I think people don't realize how, how much is accomplished in Half Moon Bay and how much is done from the public safety to, uh, and mobility to coastal access and housing. You have done a great deal to move the city forward. There's no question in anyone's mind. The city has worked hard to achieve fiscal stability. As we know, that's not easy today with the challenges that many cities face. And, and what I thought was very important and, and sensitive was the, uh, the uncertainty and concern that we all faced of our immigrant community. And you have held town hall workshops, you've hold, held community meetings and opportunities for the community to come together to provide important information and resources for our residents, and I think that's very special. You've done much this past year to achieve and to make Half Moon Bay a wonderful, inclusive place for residents, and I look forward to many more continued years of that and the opportunity to continue to work with you as we move forward. So, Madam Mayor, it is your opportunity now to stand in, uh, if we could, I, uh, why don't we face, why don't you stand over here so we can face the forward and, <clears throat> and I will read this and if you would uh, repeat after me, I would appreciate it, raise your right hand. I, Deborah Penrose. I, Deborah Penrose. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. 
that I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. The duties upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. You can sign this now and make it official. You sign. Okay. We'll make it very official. It's a big, thick pen. I'll tell you why it's a thick pen. I have terrible handwriting, and this way I have to write large. <laughs> so at least you can read it. Very good. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Vice Mayor, will you take the, the oath of office for the Vice Mayor of the, city, of the great city of Half Moon Bay? I'll be delighted. Wonderful. Please repeat after me. Raise your right hand. I, Harvey Rohrbach. I, Harvey Rohrbach. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties upon which I am about to enter. The duties upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations, Mr. Vice Mayor. <laughs> and for a successful year, Harvey. And we will. It's time now for public forum. I guess. Our first speaker is Rosalba Acosta. Buenas noches. Uh, mi nombre es Rosalba Costa y hicimos unas cartas. Estamos representando a mujeres adelante. Good evening. My name is Rosalba Costa. We made some letters and we are representing women going forward. For uh, señora Magda González y su concilio. Sabemos que Magda ya no va a estar, pero we, for Ms. Mar Marta Magda González and for the council. Yeah, y una carta es para cada and there is a letter for each one of the members. Yes. hablar sobre las viviendas. Sabemos que. We want to talk about uh, the housing. Sabemos que fue rechazada hace un tiempo. We know that has been rejected uh, some time ago. Uh, tengo entendido que fue porque. Um, 
Se hace mucho tráfico aquí en Half Moon Bay. I understand that it's because of a lot of traffic that is coming to Hamburg, Half Moon Bay. Pero yo quiero decirles que las personas que vivimos en Half Moon Bay ya estamos viviendo y somos bastantes familias viviendo en una casa. But I want to let you know that there are a lot of, of us living here in Half Moon Bay and there are many families that are living in one house. Y aquí juntamos unas firmas de unas personas que están necesitadas de vivienda. We gather some signature of people that are in need of, of, of housing. Y quiero leerles esta carta. And I want to read you this letter. Somos el grupo de mujeres adelante. We are the, the group of women forward. Las cuales hemos tenido el gusto de conocerla. Ahora la nueva. We have the pleasure to knowing you, the, 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 now the new mayor. <laughs> in one of the, our meetings in the Lutheran Church. By this means, uh, we address you in order to make you know Uh, the need of housing that we have here in the, in the area of Half Moon Bay. En la junta antes mencionada, uh, amablemente, bueno, eso fue lo que habíamos hablado con la señora Marta. Esa ya la habíamos hablado. This is something that we have spoken before with Miss Magda. Yeah. With Miss Magda. So in, the, in the previous uh, meeting, that we mentioned, we very gently, you very gently, you, you offered your support and mentioned us that we could make extensive our needs. Uh, because of this, we are making you, we are presenting you this petition of help. The need of housing is general in our community for which we expect your support that because uh, that through you, the charge that, that you have, you can uh, intercede under the authorities that correspond in, for the construction of more uh, housing, affordable housing for the people of low income. It's also needed to mention that uh, together with this document, we are presenting a, a letter or pages with signatures that we have gathered from the people that have this need. Without any particular, we salute you, uh, remembering you that we have deposited our trust in you and we are waiting a favor favorable response for our petition and its signature for on behalf of Mujeres Adelante or Women's Forward signed by Rosalba Costa. Rosalba Costa, yes. yes. And then and the address. Yeah, muchas gracias por su atención y estamos aquí porque queremos representar también lo de las viviendas como les dije y lo de inmigración con los muchachos de DACA. We are here also to uh, represent uh, the, the youth with the DACA. Y si me permiten darle a uno, no, no los conozco bien, les tomé una foto, pero a las personas del concilio les hicimos una carta para cada uno de ellos. We wrote a letter for each one of you. We don't, I don't know you quite well. We took a pictures of you in order to uh, recognize you, but uh, that's why we want to hand you a, a letter. Gracias. Thank you, Rosalba. And this is for the new mayor. I don't know who it's. Okay. Uh, uh, Thank you, Rosalva. I want you to know that um, affordable housing, and by that we mean 
housing for people of extremely low and very low income has been a priority of this council for the past year. It is going to continue to be a priority. In fact, we have hopefully a project in, in, the, um, in the works that we're hoping might get through with uh, 80 units of uh, affordable housing. So thank you. Our next speaker is Pedro Murillo. Good evening. I also belong to the group of Women Forward. Y también quiero felicitar a la nueva alcaldesa por su puesto tan importante. I want to congratulate the new mayor for that important position that you're having. Y a los demás uh, representantes que representan nuestro pueblo de Jamón Bay, muchas felicitaciones and, and por tener este cargo tan importante. And of the rest of representatives that, that are holding that position because of here in Jamón Bay having that so important position. Yo sé que con los maestros que hemos tenido aprendimos a que ustedes son unas personas con mucho conocimiento, han tenido el estudio suficiente. We have learned through the teachers that, that we had that you are people with a, with a lot of knowledge and they have, you have had the studies. Y también sé que tienen el poder para poder ayudarnos a nuestra comunidad latina. And you also have the power in order to help our Latin community. As my friend, my partner said, we have a, lot, a great need in housing. De nuestros jóvenes amparados por el DACA. Besides the need of housing, we also have the, our concern of our youth with, uh, in DACA. Y esperemos un apoyo también para una reforma migratoria para nuestras, um, nuestros compañeros, nuestra comunidad mexicana y demás países para apoyar a una reforma migratoria. And we also would like to receive your support and, and, and help in order to provide for all the Latin community, not only the Mexican, but other, from other countries too, uh, the immigration reformation. Y pues muchas gracias por atendernos y pues muchas gracias por uh, tener este cargo tan importante y Y muchas gracias por escucharnos y esperemos algo de ayuda para ustedes y pues feliz Navidad para todos y pues gracias por todo. Thank you for the support and for receiving us, for listening us and thank you for all the help that you have providing and are providing to our community and we wish you a Merry Christmas and thank you. Thank you for all. Thank you. Thank you, Pedro. Shirley Holly. Good evening. I'm just a regular citizen of Half Moon Bay. I um, am very, very devoted to be a member of our greater community, all of us coming together. And I think we're making some gains in that direction. Um, I want to see us continue to work together so that um, when anyone has a need, and we have many, when anyone has a need that they take to the council, what they hear in a timely way is, let us sit down with you and figure out how we can be helpful to you. I look forward to seeing more and more and more of that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shirley. A 
as we have no more public speakers, I would like to ask everybody to get up and come on over and help yourself to some food and drink. And I will adjourn this meeting.